Her face is so durable. What is up with your face? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, we return with zombie growls behind us, and you guys let me know a couple things about this base and what you guys think we should do. So some of you guys said that, oh, this one's gonna be too hard, something like that. Other of you guys said I should go in the forest. Other of you guys said that the forest would be a little bit too easy. So what I think we'll do is maybe, eh, maybe we'll go ahead, we'll ride around a little bit. I'll actually go ahead and do something with these gas barrels here, even though I don't really have the inventory space to do anything. Eh, I'll just, I'll just drop that couple of wood there and I will try to actually craft this down into the gas barrels. Don't know how long that'll take, Hopefully not too long because uh, that might take a long time. I, yeah, okay It's gonna be like a couple seconds and that should let us fill this thing up. Let's fill you up. There we go and Fill you up again and voila. I think that should have a good amount of gas So now we can go on a bit of an adventure We got a little bit more gas and I want to ride around before we do choose somewhere to settle down because today is the day where we pick our new base after the day 21 horde in all its epicness although from what you guys were saying uh, I asked you guys on Twitter uh, because I don't know the day 21 horde video did weirdly like it seemed like not a lot of you guys watched it I asked on Twitter it turns out that YouTube notifications were broken or something for it so if you guys haven't yet and if you want to know how we got to this very moment right here make sure that you watch the last video I'll have a link in the description I'll try to link it in the comments and all that stuff too because something as epic as a day 21 horde should definitely not be missed and I just kind of like boo YouTube sucks. Why you do this? You know <laughs> now nah, YouTube's still pretty cool But I gotta admit man sometimes YouTube is just a glorified dingus. It's a binger di binger <laughs> Binger dingus. I don't even know what I'm saying bigger dingus than I am at times So yeah, just be aware of that day 21 horde how we got here all that jazz You've been expecting me. That's not creepy at all, my dude. But whatever, what you got for me? So some of you guys said I should come here and look for shotgun schematics along with anything else that might be good. As of right now, we do not have those schematics. It is, I, I seriously think someone went on a crusade and burned every single shotgun schematic in the world. That is the only thing that makes sense to me. Cause I, I don't know, dude, it's not right. It's just not normal what's happening here. I. I don't know. But what I want to do here is venture a little bit more. Uh, I actually want to go into the forest biome and see if maybe there's anything cool around there. Although we have to access our map to do that. We could also try going this way to hell with it. Let's adventure to new lands a little bit and all that and see what's going on. That looks like snow biome. I may take back that adventure. Let's venture to this forest biome a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I was actually gone for a day. I think I told you guys in a video. Don't remember 100% if I did. But uh, I was gone for a day because I went to an awesome Lawbreakers event in LA. I actually, we like played a little bit of competitive too. I ended up being on like a competitive MVP so show match. I ended up winning a freaking new monitor, which was absolutely epic. And I think next week I'm going to be playing in like a competitive game. Because uh, there was like two days of the event or something. And it was like uh, the winners of the event. There was like a winning team of each day. We're going to be showing down next week or something like that. So honestly... I'm actually like super excited for that because I think there's gonna be some kind of a prize too But uh, I don't know we'll have to see so I just wanted to say that kind of explain where I've been some of you guys may have been wondering that type of stuff So yeah, that's where I was and expect a video on it. if you guys don't know what lawbreakers is Let me just say it is probably the most fun I've had in a shooter in a very long time I freaking love it. Hopefully I just encourage you guys to check out the video when it comes out and honestly, it might get me back into streaming because I feel like that game is going to be insanely fun to stream and I might definitely do that a little bit. But for now, side topic out of the way, just wanted to explain myself there, explain what was going on, you know, why I maybe wasn't here, why yesterday's videos were super late too, because I literally flew back in. It was so stupid. We were like waiting for like, I, like we landed a little bit early, but we waited like a freaking hour for the plane to get away from our gate because like we were just waiting on like the somewhere in like the airport like in the plane and we weren't at our gate yet because there was another plane there and he wouldn't move his fat booty so that really annoyed me you know that made me angry because i'm like my videos are gonna be late yeah but then i went to a family dinner too which didn't help because i promised my sister i'd go get food with her and my mom which was nice and all but not nice for videos <laughs> you know what i mean but okay this is where we're going to some new lands and actually speaking of new lands I kind of want to check that place. Oh wait, isn't there an airdrop here? I, I have like a quick marker here. I feel like that means there's been an airdrop. Has there been an airdrop? 
I has there? Oh god. Oh god, I heard I heard zombie noises. Zombie noises are not good. Has there been an airdrop here? I feel as if there may have, because that's the usually the only thing I use these markers for. No? Maybe not? Although, you guys gotta admit, this mini bike riding, it makes things so much easier. Like, look, we're even going off ramps and stuff. This is epic, and yeah, by the looks of it, I'm not seeing anything right there. Okay, that's some poo-poo, but whatever. I'll survive. Okay. Let's keep on looking around a little bit more. Alright. I say we go a little bit this way. We'll check out this road a little bit. If we don't see anything soon, I think we settle back at the desert house. Worst case, so oh, That was about to be a mad ramp. Worst case scenario, we settle there, and honestly, I'm up for a little bit of a challenge that comes with living in such a potentially dangerous biome, you know? And I think, yeah, because I wanted to make, like, walls and stuff around it. You guys said that might be hard because it's not level terrain, but at the end of the day, like, I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal either way, but I do want to see if maybe there is a biome, not a biome, but, like, a town over here in the green biome, a little bit of greenery and all that, but I think around 1800 hours, if we don't find anything, we'll rush our booties back on this, uh, booter scooter. I- I don't know why- I don't know how I came up with that name, but that is now the official name of our bike. It's the booter scooter. <laughs> so we're gonna get our booty on the booter scooter and booter scoot our way back to that little town. We- no, not the town, but the uh, little house that we found outside of the town and see what that has to offer. And honestly, with how ATV-like the booter scooter is, I am actually pretty excited that we might go off some ramps and stuff. However, I am scared that maybe I'll do something stupid and bring upon impending doom onto myself. Would not surprise me, okay. Well, why don't we check here how the map's shaping up to be. So this road literally just goes back to where we came. I, unfortunately, am not too interested in that. Oh god, I'm not too interested in rolling down either. <laughs> Uh, so what we gotta do, I'll just put a quick waypoint that way. We are going to head straight north. We're gonna go on the ATV a little bit. The booter scooter and ATV. All-terrain booter scooter. <laughs> oh man, that is the greatest name ever. I gotta put that on a shirt. Would you guys buy a shirt like that? I don't know. I actually don't know if I would want to wear a booter scooter shirt in public. Maybe on my streams. Don't know if I would do it in public though. <laughs> Alright. We're going up a little bit more north. We're gonna be going through this, and the way that the road's shaped up to be a little bit more up north here, eh, by the looks of it, hmm, I feel like the road might branch off a little bit to the east. If it doesn't, though, it looks like, oh, hello, hole in the ground. Uh, if it doesn't, though, that's fine. I just was kind of curious, because I think the road should, okay, there we go, we found the road. It looks like it might branch off to the east a little bit. Is that true, or is that just me being crazy? Uh, no, it does not branch off. Okay, but we are getting some freaking speed downhill. Oh, I'm liking this. Yeah! Feels like I'm a roller coaster. We had six flags, baby. Going on the booter scooter deluxe. <laughs> okay, but yeah, look at how insane this thing has allowed our mobility to become. Like, I still can't believe how much ground we've covered in so little time. However, I am scared if this goes in the water, we're 50 shades of freaking boned. Don't know about that, but we'll see, but... The booter scooter has been a blessing to us. And speaking of blessings, since we're here, we can make our rounds to see what this shop has to offer. See if it's anything worthwhile. But yeah, especially with our broken leg, which is still somehow broken. I haven't rebroken it in a while, but it continues to be broken. Was that the sound of the flag? Okay, that was the sound of the flag. Uh, this goes somewhere. Oh, hold on. Destroyed workbench. Oh my god, wait. I can loot the trader's stuff? Oh, why don't we steal a little bit of the trader's stuff then, lads? Maybe he has something good up here, like a little, little safe. Ooh. Well, it looks like he's got... Oh, this is cool. He's got, like, this... All these electronics. I have no clue what the hell he does with them, but... He has them, so that's kind of cool. Uh, my screen just turned black for a sec because my computer keeps doing that. Don't know why it happens. I think my stupid HDMI cord or whatever is poopy. But, eh. I think I'll survive. Alright, let's make our way down. This is cool. This goes on all of, uh, all around the walls and whatnot. Let's make our way down. This is the first time I've actually like fully explored a trader's outpost. I feel like. I usually don't. And my screen is turning black so freaking much. You guys never see it. Because the problem with my video cable, not the computer, but still. It pisses me off so much. <laughs> and I don't know how to fix it, man. I've tried using different cables and all that. Nothing does the trick. But I don't want to spend too much time here at the trader. Or, you know, goofing off. You know, goofing and gaffing. What up, Jimmy? You need to buy something. How'd you know, Jimmy? How'd you know, Jimbo Bibbidi Bob, what I needed to get? I don't know. Jimbo Bibbidi Bob over here is like a mind reader. He's a good man. 
Uh, we could buy some shotgun shells. Honestly, kind of want to invest in the shotgun shells. It's like, it'll be like a thousand bucks. To hell with it. I like shotgun shells. And we're not finding anything else worth buying. Although probably by the time we go bankrupt and have to no, file for, uh, you know, seven days to die bankruptcy. That's probably when things are going to be like, oh, here's your shotgun blueprint that you can't afford. And I'll be like, you know, that doesn't surprise me. That honestly would not surprise me, but uh, I can't wait. You know, it's the thing too. This mini bike is only like right around 300 quality. This thing can still get twice as good, which makes me think that this thing. Oh, I don't even want to think about how fast this thing would be with better parts. But that's the thing too. We can continuously continue looking. Continuously continue. <laughs> I don't think that makes sense. But at the same time, it kind of does. We can continuously continue to try and continue upgrading our mini bike here. And I think we ought to be able to get some good upgrades in every once in a while. But here we're going to have three hours to set up a little bit of a base camp. Now this base camp... This is day one of our new house finding adventure. So we're gonna have to spend a lot of this upcoming week actually building the base. We'll have a little bit of time to loot up the skyscrapers, which I am very excited for. But we are gonna have to spend a good amount of time com compared to last week in seven days. We had a lot of free time. We barely had to build our base. Even the week before that, we had a military base to hide behind. But uh, this time around, we're gonna need some serious firepower because this is not going to survive on its own, unfortunate to say. And look at that, we even got a little, little parking garage here. We could turn this into a garage for the mini bike. Yo, that would actually be pretty cool. Okay, I think I know what's on my to-do list. But what is also even higher on my to-do list is getting into this base and making it our own. And also, uh, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to tear down the door. Because I'm pretty sure the doors attract ho- oh! oh! Sweet mama, she was charging at me. I'm pretty sure doors like attract hordes and stuff. Or that's what zombies are like drawn to. They want to break doors with a passion. For for some reason, they just have a, they absolutely hate the guts out of doors. Like I'm pretty sure they would like the wood out of doors more than they would like the brains out my skull, you know? I'm actually pretty confident in that. And I heard some more zombies. Hello, what? don't break my fireplace, it's gonna be mine. Oh my god, you're bringing down the real estate. You're a businessman. You should know that my real estate value is going to plummet if you do that. Oh, maybe he does know. That's why he's doing it. He's a troll. Okay, goodbye with your head. That's how I troll. I blow up heads. It's my favorite pastime. Along with shooting them off. Boop. Oh, does not get old. Okay, this guy might survive. That's like a slightly tougher breed of zombie. It's like, that's kind of like the snow zombie of every other biome. He's like the lumberjack. A little bit weaker. But still, that's like the best comparison I could find. Are we looking safe? I think we've taken everything out. Okay, we have ourselves a humble home to call our own. Although we are gonna have to make some uh, changes such as tearing down every door in existence because I don't believe in door black magic. There we go. I don't believe in decaying mothers either. That's why I gotta hit them in the face with my stuff. And not in a weird way because that came out kind of weird. Oh God. <laughs> uh. Okay, and here we got the second floor. A little bit of a balcony. This will be perfect for uh, hordes and stuff, I feel like. Because the only way to get in is through the base. So as long as the base doesn't, like, you know, blow up. Oh my god, we got company. We got company. Where did you come from? Did you come back from the dead? Again? Oh my god, this is like zombie 2.0. They're becoming stronger. Okay, come on. You just go down. I'll take out your kneecaps. Take out your tummy caps. Yeah, the tummy caps are going down. She can't get through this door. Oh god, she's getting through. Never mind. Ah, I lied. Oh my god, that was a little over the top, don't you think? Seven days. A 360 head explosion? Wait, what? Her head didn't explode? That, with that, that looked like her head exploded. You guys thought that. Oh, her arm exploded. Even better. How durable is her face? Oh my god. Her face is so durable. What is up with your face? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What is up with that lady in general? She is, uh, quite the strange individual. <laughs> Uh, okay, well what I want to do here is find a wooden desk. We're gonna have to drop a couple of things off into here. We will get these back. Don't worry. I'm hopefully not gonna forget these here like the dingus that I probably will forget them here as. But uh, we need to get ourselves a little bit of wood and also destroy all these zombie remains. We'll do that overnight. Right now though, wood is high priority. And speaking of that, we are in the wrong biome if we want wood to be high priority. I mean, we can break a couple of these things. Is it worth it? Eh? But I think our wood situation ought to solve itself if we put down some tree saplings, which 
when we go for our first like wooding run over somewhere else can you please hit the bush what is that thank you why is that bush so hard to hit uh when we go for our first like wooding run if that word makes any sense whatsoever where we try to like chop down a forest uh, i think we'll get a good amount of seeds out of that and after that it'll all just be about planting some trees we could do them outside of the walls i do plan on making walls and stuff in the future uh, to surround this base and we are really running lower on time than I thought we'd be so this is kind of bad because well actually don't we have wooden frames I thought we had wooden frames in here no I don't want to ride the mini bike do we have wooden frames somewhere no did I throw out those 25 wooden frames ah she I don't know what to do about what well, okay solution we can't worry about nighttime zombies if there are no zombies so I'm just gonna try to kill everything before they come I think that's the best uh, best course of action here if you guys agree with me doesn't matter if you don't agree with me because I'm doing it this is one of those I'm making that dic dictatorial dictator decision all right I'm becoming a dictator of this series now all right no more democracy it's overrated <laughs> okay we gotta make the storage chest ASAP though secure storage chest let's craft up two of those we'll drop the last of our wood it'll free up the space we need for it and from there, we got to make this move quickly. So we're going to be storing our stuff, you know, around around this desk. Look at how perfect that is. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, I need that wood back now, please. Or I need to get some wood in the first place. Uh, we could tear down our own home. I don't know how good of a uh, investment that would be, though. So I might need to pass on that. And I might need to try to get some wood. I don't think cacti drop wood. I know we can find, like, driftwood and stuff around here. Like, I think we actually walked over one piece of driftwood before. But, uh, oh, right here. Yeah, how much more does that give us? Oh, mama. Absolutely nothing. What, in tarnation? We got nothing out of that wood. Thank you, wood, for being so helpful. Oh, God. It's not going in my inventory. What the? Oh, because the sand's going in my... Thanks, sand. I... Oh, my God. I was about to say, like, well, the game hates me even more than usual. Okay, that's a good amount of wood. That should at least... Yeah, maybe I'll get a couple more here. Oh, no, that's that's some wood we've dropped before. Yeah, I'll, I'm not even going to reinforce the wooden frames that are going to be inside. And also, I'm not too scared here. I'll turn on the light and whatnot. Or we could go night vision if you guys want. Because everyone seems to love night vision. <laughs> even though after I use it, I feel like you guys are going to be like, No, I hate night vision. Star, why'd you do this? why you do this, Star? <laughs> I don't know. I just I just feel like, you know, everything is pretty much two colors. I don't know. I like I like more colors in my life, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just selfish for wanting more than two colors. Who knows? Maybe I'm the bad guy in all of this. Okay, we also got these plant fibers. Don't know what they're doing in our inventory. Let's drop those. Not too interested in that. What I'm interested in is some frames. There we go. Let's get the wood and frames. That should be enough to block off all the doors. And from there... I don't know why I hit N, although N brings up the perk menu, did not know that. From there what we can do, and proceed to do, is loot up the base and see what we have inside of here. Because this is going to be the new base, I think. Uh, that is just like another way up, so let's block that off. And that goes to the balcony, so that doesn't even matter. This, my friends, is our new home. Uh, we have the zombie lady who, oh is that her? Okay, she's back. I don't know what that zombie was doing, but apparently she went through the floor, she came back through the floor, she's like, I didn't like what was on the other side of the floor, so she came crawling and phasing through walls back to be, to be with me again. And that was just a cabinet that actually utterly disappoints me. But our scavenging is getting quite a few levels, which makes me pretty happy. And that, that doctor had a couple of meds on him. Hmm, that's pretty good. Bookcase does not have what I'm looking for. Uh, well, we're gonna have to replace these windows and stuff too on the bright side there's already a forge in here which kind of makes me one of the happiest campers of all uh, is there a basement or is this where i go poop this is where i go this is where i go poop -poo. okay what we could do is actually tear this down and turn this into the basement which honestly isn't too shabby of an idea and i might commence doing so right about now goodbye toilet goodbye medicine cabinet hello basement what did that drop broken glass not too interested in that. I'm interested in making a bottom floor to this baby. Because a lot of you guys were saying, Star, you should build underground and stuff. Well, here's the thing. I always feel like underground is OP. Now, my reason for that, what the hell is this going to? Hold on. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? Where's that go? What is this? Is this a secret compartment? What in? Uh, okay. I'm not going to question it, but 
I just feel like going underground is OP. Also, this is dirt, so I'm using the totally wrong tool. Go me. But I just feel like going underground is OP, because zombies are not the best at, you know, figuring out how to go underground, so it's kind of OP. But to satisfy you guys, I thought at the very least we could build up a basement, and I'm going to have to at least wait till I get a shovel to finish this basement. Also, I know I forgot a steel shovel outside. It's been a couple minutes since that, so you guys probably already left a comment letting me know that I'm the dingiest dingus of all, in which case I am aware, and I apologize. This is where we can put the fire, which is actually pretty cool. We'll have our fireplace right there. This is going to be, you know, this is going to be a pretty nice home, but for now, Let's start actually hauling some of our stuff in. We'll organize it later on and whatnot, but for now, it's just time to put stuff away. I'll pick up the stuff that we need later on. I'm just going to hit organize once all this is in there, and then we'll pick out everything. Is is there I know there's a way to take all out of there. I don't know if there's a way to uh, put all, though. Okay, so we have everything there. Let's organize it. What do I want? I want a wrench. I want a pickaxe. I want a fire axe. We got those established. Probably some cans of miso. I would like to drink those up. A sniper rifle, a pistol, that, 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 that. Which one's the better pistol? I want the better pistol. And shotgun in that. Boom shakalaka, that's sorted. Okay, we got everything. That's sorted. We're good to go. Okay, was that so difficult? Probably, probably. I'm pretty good at making things difficult. Okay. I'm gonna have to put this stuff in my inventory properly and whatnot. And with that fresh in our inventory, let's eat up some cans of miso to celebrate a little bit of miso soup. That should get our food and our hydration a little bit up. It does more so hydration, which is actually pretty useful because our food is like way higher. We'll get a couple empty cans out of it. You know, in my eyes, this looks like a pretty good win-win. We've got all of that pretty high up. I'm pretty happy with what's going on. Let's grab that. We got the cans of miso. Ooh, hopefully, uh, eh, it's a hell with it. I'll go back outside. I'm not really scared of any zombies right now. Although I feel like because I said that, the game's gonna, like, absolutely screw me. Or give me the present of a crawler. I love crawlers. Best present in the world, because they can't run at night. Haha! -ha. Could you imagine if crawlers, ran, like, crawled faster at night? That would actually be absolutely horrifying in seven days, devs. If you guys are watching this, please don't take my advice. It's awful advice. Don't listen to my advice. I give the worst advice. Don't listen to me. Don't do it. Don't do it. But we're still doing pretty good here. I'm going to crouch just to make sure we're a little bit more hidden. And we're going to start picking up some of this stuff. And there's some very good stuff in here. Uh, did, I, did we bring an anvil? Or that might still be back at base. But regardless, we have the forge that I want to start doing stuff with. And I think tomorrow we might actually go to the forest and try to come back with literally a forest of wood. Because the good thing is the forest isn't even that far away. We're not having heat stroke or anything, surprisingly enough. I feel like you know, we're doing pretty good in the desert so far. Uh, but we got this. And along with that, we have quite a little bit of iron. I'd like to split that in half. Put you in there. Put the lumps of clay in there. And let's get this cooking good looking a little bit, shall we? Although, given the fact we're in the desert biome, I don't think that we are going to utilize the thing known as, um, what, what should I call it? Uh, wood. We're not going to use that for uh, forge burning purposes. I don't think that would be a good idea. So I'm gonna have to do a hard pass on that one. I'm just gonna try to use coal because we have quite quite a good amount of it and it should be a lot easier to get in this biome than otherwise. So we're gonna turn that on. Hopefully this doesn't draw too many hordes our way because a horde could definitely tear down our house. What we're gonna have to do is try and build a very strong wall around this. Now when it comes to building that wall, what? type of frame are we gonna do? I think flagstone is gonna be a good block to start with. Oh, we need just cobblestone rocks, and cobblestone rocks are easy to get. All it takes is some clay and some stone. We're in a biome where clay should be pretty easy to find. I think some of those patches, one of those types of patches, should be the clay that we're looking for, which is gonna be handy. Also, what the hell are those types of buildings? You guys see that? I don't think I'm entirely sure what those are, or what that is. I guess we'll find out as we adventure, but that's definitely caught my eye a little bit. Along with the skyscrapers, and maybe even the school. Although I feel like we got everything good out of the school, so I'm not even too concerned with what's going to be in there. But alright, we got some of the goodies. Let's continue dropping off those goodies. We'll put the shotguns away. Uh, I'll put the slugs away too. Don't want to be using those too much at the moment. And we'll continue putting everything away. We got all of those electronic parts and components. We got some electric wire relays whole ton of stuff that's going to be very useful for us and our adventures. And that shovel, which is going to be perfect as we continue to dig this hole. 
It's gonna be a very good hole. It's gonna be the best hole. Best hole in the world, guaranteed. Uh, but while we do do our wood run tomorrow, I'm thinking that might be a good time to also stop by the old base, pick up the rest of our loot, because we do still have a couple things I'd like to pick up. And you know what the handy thing is? Since we've now moved away from the base, this is going to allow all the stuff back here to start respawning again, specifically the base that we were at. If you guys remember, we were in the best military base uh, with the secret military compartment with like a munitions box. It had tons of munitions boxes, so we're going to be in pretty good shape. Speaking of good shape, though, I would like to build a campfire. Uh, we just got to pick up a couple of stones. Sure thing. I'll pick those up right now. Fight me, zombies, if you disagree. That's right. You're not. The zombies are scared. They're scared of little old star. Because I ain't little. I'm big now, baby. Also, I love that it literally takes three hits and we can destroy this rock so quickly. This is so handy. Look at that. We just absolutely demolished this thing. Steel pickaxe, man. Steel tools in general. That's why I'm smelting down all of that iron. We're going to start our steel production and there is going to be quite a bit of it to go around. So I'm very excited to see where that goes with. So we can get all steel tools. Um, steel fire axe. We already have a steel shovel. Could be better quality, but eh, I'm not complaining too much. But with steel, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to be excited for. Although, yeah, that fire axe is probably the biggest. I'd like to have that done before we head on out to our uh, adventure, though. Now, the thing is... Oh, I didn't learn the perk yet. Oh, that's right. We got to cash in. That's what we're going to do. Because we only have uh, 36 points available. That is quite a good amount of points. Also, another level of bad mechanic. Because that thing is like the best perk in A. Um, science, any, oh no, let's not do that. What, what kind of perks we got here? Scientific perks. Electricity basics. Given the fact I want to invest in electricity, I'm going to have to do a hard yes on that one. What do we need for melee traps? Higher levels in science. Let's invest in science. And some of these traps look to begin. We can get a dart trap. Uh, ooh, 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 dude, I'm loving these traps that I'm seeing. This is, we're going to have to spend a lot of points on this stuff. Also, I think the battery bank. Although, we have to... Oh, no. We have to find the battery bank, don't we? Well, that might be bad. <laughs> Although, do-it-yourself seems like it's going to be pretty good. So that lets us build our own parts. So it let us do a lot of stuff just from scratch using raw materials. That's going to be pretty handy, along with all the sand that we're collecting here. Can I just hit the rock layer, please? I, I don't trust sand. I feel like it's going to collapse on my face any moment now. How much deeper does this rabbit hole go? We're getting stone from this, which is actually like pretty handy and... Oh god, what the... That, that was weird, that wasn't hitting for some reason. Uh, got about another hour till daytime hits. Is there even any stone in this biome? Or is everything literally sand and like a little bit of rock mixed in with the sand? Um... If you guys know anything about this, let me know, but it appears I may have bamboozled myself. I don't think we can mine anything in the desert. There's literally nothing except just tons of sand. I mean, that could be good though. I think sand's gonna be useful for crafting. Uh, can we make s glass out of sand or something like that? Uh, what recipes do we have here? We can make gravel, sand, stone, concrete mix. So actually this insane amount of crushed sand and small stone that we're getting might be pretty useful. Honestly, this gives us a good use for our steel shovels as well this might actually sort of be like low-key a blessing in disguise because i don't know it's super easy to break we get tons of materials from it and we've already made this hole way deeper than i thought it'd get because all these blocks only have a hundred and oh god i can't even run up i gotta like jump up repeatedly okay there we go we back baby we back how you doing over there good okay can we make that forge steel now what i just learned this Huh? Oh, I need the crucible. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. I was about to be like, what is you talking about? Uh, we could try to craft up the crucible. However, it is uh, quite on the expensive side in terms of things to find. This is where I have to ask you guys for a little bit of help. You guys might know the solution. If you do, I'd appreciate it. Where is a good place to look if I want to try and find that crucible? There's a good chance we found a crucible in the past, but that is... Uh, me going off my memory, and the last thing you want to trust is the memory of a goldfish. As a child, I actually had a brain transplant with the goldfish. As you can see, that science experiment went awfully wrong. 
Also, I just realized I'm an awful person. I don't think I wish you guys this or the brain of a goldfish is kicking in again. But I really hope you guys are having absolutely a fan freaking fantastic day. I love wishing that a little bit earlier in the video, but I got pretty caught up. A lot of exciting stuff happening here. So my like, I'm really sorry about that. That's my bad guys. But I hope, you know, I hope the day is still going awesome. I hope everything is going swell, swiggity swell. Okay. But now it's time to put the rest of that stuff away. It's time for my screen to turn black for the 12th time today. Okay, make that 13. It like flashed for a sec to give me false hope. And then it just shot down all my dreams again. It's pretty good at doing that, I feel like. It's pretty good. All right. And we'll have that. That's all I'll take with us for self-defense purposes. We have all this stuff. We can sort that. Boom, shakalaka. That is looking good. But yeah, we're going to want wood. But the good news is cobble or like flag stuff. Mm. What can we use stone for? Like, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go like dig like one thing here. Okay. I just want to see. So we have some stone in our inventory. Okay, literally one stone. All I wanted. Because I want to see what exactly can you use stone for? I know it has like a lot of recipes, but okay. Cobblestone rocks. Perfect. Because we need cobblestone rocks for flagstone. As long as we have enough clay, we're gonna have a nutty amount of stone available to us. Even concrete mix sand and small stone guys we might be in the perfect biome to build concrete walls if you actually think about it i think we're in the best biome for building concrete oh ho, ho, ho. all we gotta do is invest in the right layer in the concrete perk i feel like right isn't isn't that like a perk concrete yeah concrete mixing 10 points so in a level or two uh, we're gonna invest in some concrete mixing. We're gonna put one of those mixers up in our house And we're gonna reap the benefits because there are definitely gonna be some benefits Out of having a concrete wall surrounding the place and with easy access stone and sand pretty much everywhere in the ground All we got to really worry about hold on I know that there's some zombies there that are kind of coming my way But I have more important things to do all we got to worry about is cement and small stone and crushed sand but cement is literally just stones and stone is uh, nowhere to be found is it that one like rocks only bigger i i don't even know hold on what the hell whatever we'll fit we'll figure it out we'll figure it out maybe that stone is like out of the cement mixer or something if that makes sense also why did i hear people exploding because <gasps> we have natural traps all around our base the cacti will protect us oh the cacti gods shine down upon us on this blessed day. All hail the cacti gods! All hail, hold on, I gotta start the shrine to the cacti. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. The cacti gods are destroying these zombies' legs for us. Cacti gods, I am not worthy. Thank you, cacti. Thank you, protect my base while I'm gone, cacti gods. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well now it's time to take one last look at our home. Because it's not going to be a home for long. Pretty soon, it's going to be a very, very fortified base. And when that happens, I'm going to be ready for that day 28 horde. Time's running a little bit... Eh, we still have tons of time, though. We still have a very good iron pickaxe. We can't make steel until we find that crucible. And I think there's a chance we forgot it. If not, we could try relooting some of the buildings in the old area. Worst case, though, we'll just make flagstone and... Uh, Cement to surround our base. And I don't know why, why. I don't know why flagstone and that had to do anything with steel. Cause I was talking about steel, not cement. I'm getting, my, I'm getting like my brain mixed up here. Cause those are like I'm thinking like steel smithing and then concrete mixing perks. So like those two perks are in my head. And they're making me think. Also, we should drop down a sleeping bag in our new base. Now that I think about it, might be a good investment along with more gas, because I kind of put away. All the gas. Um, well, I think we have the wrench with us, so absolute worst case ever scenario. We'll just mine some stuff to get it, but uh, before that happens, I see like a mound over here. I would like to explore this mound. Oh, that's a base. That looks to be a military... Is that a military tent? Is that the green tent? Oh, I like military tents. You guys remember what we found last time we came to a little encampment like this. Honestly, what if we find like a new town in the distance that would be pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and loot up this uh, little area here 
in the next episode. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making this series so awesome. Thank you guys for being a part of it. And thank you for hopefully having a fan fantastic day. Because that makes me happy. Because I like knowing that other people in the world are happy. Honestly, that's probably what makes me happiest in the world. Making other people happy. I don't know. Is that weird? You tell me. That's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves a fan fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.